This game day preview is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. The Bison are sprinting from our left to the right to get to the Rock. The Rock is back in Fargo. After the Bison picked up a road win over top 10 ranked South Dakota State, this week NDSU will look to win another rivalry game over another top 10 opponent. The 33 game winning streak is snapped in Cedar Falls, Iowa. 23 to three is the final. Last season, Northern Iowa ended NDSU's 33 game winning streak in a 23-3 win at the Unidome. That loss is a feeling NDSU wants to give back to the Panthers. A lot of us are feeling a little bitter about uh, last year, and now I feel, I feel like we're coming in with a very strong team. Northern Iowa will not be the only group coming to the Fargo Dome this weekend, as ESPN's Sports Center on the Road will be live on Saturday morning. Great recognition of our program. You know, it's great for recruiting. It's great in all aspects of just getting Fargo on the map and North Dakota on the map. I mean, obviously it's, it's, a, it's cool, it's a good thing, but you know, I'm, a, I'm not really thinking about any of that. I'm trying to focus, focus on the game. I'm not, not going to let that uh, distract me from you know, what we have to do to get the, to get the win. While going on the road to a top 10 team might feel like a challenge for most, to you and I, it's just the norm. This game against North Dakota State will mark the fourth game in a row the Panthers have played a top 25 team. And the third week in a row has been a road game. The games over the, the five years that I've been here, they've been great football games. And uh, um, you know, we've been fortunate to, to be on top of a few and, and, and lost the one last year. The Panthers have two wins over top 25 opponents in Eastern Washington and Cal Poly. A main reason for those wins has been the usual strong Panther defense. UNI leads the Missouri Valley in sacks with 13. You know, they're a hard-nosed team. They come up and hit you from guys playing D-line, linebacker, all the way to their corners and safety. So they're going to put up a fight. While UNI's defense looks the same, that cannot be said about the offense. First-year coordinator Joe Davis has brought a no-huddle, hurry-up offense that has been using a two-quarterback system. We are preparing for both. Both of them are, you know, bring a different skill set to the, to the field. So. Uh, you know, and and we are, we're going to imagine we're going to see them both, so we have to be prepared. And, uh, maybe slightly different calls, uh, different mentality when one quarterback is in versus the other. If the Bison want to slow down the Panther offense, NDSU will need its defensive line to continue its strong play. In the past two games, NDSU's defensive line has six sacks and has helped in allowing a combined zero rushing yards. A few older guys in there, but they were spot players. Some of them were last year. Now they're having more significant roles. And, and they're playing with a lot of confidence and they're playing really physical. Sports Center on the Road will be live from the Fargo Dome at 6 a.m. Central Time, while the kickoff for the NDSU UNI game is scheduled for 1 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on NBC North Dakota, ESPN3, and ESPN College Extra. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Roy.